time. Hi everyone, it's been a while. Let's do a little Friday reads. Books I bought, got from the library. I had to add on to the other books I got from my other library hall. I have like 40 books to read. My life is crazy. But yeah, it's Friday here in New York. It's snowing. Whole, what, storm, Nemo, I guess is what they're calling it. Bananas. But yeah, so what I'm reading is Every Day by David Levithan. As you can see by all the sticky notes. Love it. It's full of quotes and beautifulness. And it's going good so far. I only have a couple pages to go. Look like 60. So I'll be finishing this for sure this weekend. And then I'll probably be moving on to the trial because I have to read it for class. I have to read the first two chapters for class. So I'm actually kind of excited for this. So to start off with the books that I bought, this was for class. And then also we've when we read a couple stories from this, the complete stories of from Frank Kafka as well. We read The Hunger Artist, um, The Penal Colony, Metamorphosis of course. And he's a very interesting writer, so I have to say. <laughs> We're also going to be reading in that class The Stranger by Albert Camus, and I love this cover. It's just, I uh, can't wait to see what this is about, because I've heard wonders about it. So I'm excited for this. For my Hitchcock film class, um, I rented this, so I actually have to give it back at the end of the semester. The Art of Alfred Hitchcock, 50 Years of His Motion Pictures by Donald's Photos. So this is all about him and pictures of people he met, and yeah. The other Hitchcock book is Hitchcock Films Revisited, which also looks very interesting, and we'll see what that has to do. Also filled with pictures and such. And now to get to the... Oh my god. I found so many books. Got this for $3. Victor Hugo, The Hunchback of Notre Dame. And look at that cover. I'm so excited to read this book. Yeah, I don't even know. I'm so excited. <laughs> the next one is the first in The Chronicles of Narnia, because I read this ages ago, and I don't even remember. So I'm so excited to read this and just read the rest of the series because it's going to be awesome and there's pictures in it from the movie. <laughs> and I got in this whole series thing I'm doing the first two of a series of unfortunate events because yes, this is a thing that need, needed to occur. So I need to read this because I've never read it and I've always wanted to. So I'm going to be picking these up as I go along and I'm excited for that. The first and another series that I picked up was book one of Suzanne Collins. I didn't even know she wrote like a children's book, but apparently this is a series. There's four of them out. And it's called Gregor and the Overlander. So I'm excited to read this. And I'm all about children's books this year, guys. Let's just do it all. Do it all. Just like, you know? Yeah. <laughs> the Another book I bought was Star Trek because why not? This book, like the movie cover, I'm just, I'm in love. And it's, I got it from Barnes and Noble. And just, yes, fuck it up. All the books just fell. Oh well. I got Miss Dalloway, Virginia Woolf. I wanted to see the movie The Hours because it has Nicole Kidman in it and I love her. But I've never I've seen it so I want to read this and actually watch it and understand it and that's going to be interesting. I got After Dark by Haruki Murakami. This cover y'all. This cover. Just bask. Bask in its beauty. Just, just look at it. I'm in love and it's a thing that exists and it's rainbow and I can't can't even deal and like it's look at it's purple and pink I don't even like pink like that but with this cover I'm with it yep next is Arthur Donan Coyle A Life in Letters this I just picked it up because it was six dollars and it was a bargain as it says and I'm excited and yeah so that's a thing Grimm's Complete Fairy Tales, also a bargain at Barnes, Barnes & Noble is going to take all my money this semester, I'm not even mad, but yeah, this book, all of the fairy tales, there's pictures, I'm excited, it's a thing, it exists, I own it, and today, just cause, I bought this, for colored girls who have considered suicide when the rainbow is enough, it's a movie by Tyler Perry, I don't know if I'm excited to see the movie, but I wanted to read this cause I didn't even know it was a book, apparently, it's a choreo poem, that's interesting. I've never read one of those before. But yeah, look at it. It's like all inter different and such. So that'll be exciting. So now to move on to this pile of books over here that just fell. These are from the library. So I got The Unbecoming of Mara Dyer and the sequel, The Evolution of Mara Dyer. Because I got this a year ago, but then I never read it. So I'm going to actually just, instead of buying it and not liking it, I'm just going to read it from the library. Because saving money. I have to save some money. Next is something else I've always gotten from the library and I've never read Shades of Grey by Jasper Ford this will be the first book I'm reading from him and I'm excited because 
just always wanted to read it but it's all this um with people being of different levels of society because of color and i uh, just it sounds great and i'm excited next is the first in the chaos walking trilogy is the knife of never letting go by patrick ness also excited it's gonna be a thing series i'm all about series so we're gonna read that because the readables love it loves it so let's see if i like it everyone's been reading this and i'm excited to read this and it's supposed to be hilarious and yes me errol and the dying girl by jesse andrews so i'll definitely be reading that next is the night circus also another book everyone has been reading so definitely gonna get into this soon i have three weeks what is my life we'll figure it out oh my god remember i told you guys about austin land got the sequel well not the sequel it's like another the same premise midnight in austin land shannon hale she's a goddess of goddesses there's a movie coming out i'm excited all things pride and prejudice y'all know lizzie bennett diaries yes Next is The Selection by Kira Cass. Let's see what this series is about. Let's do it. Another dystopian origin. I'm slacking on all these dystopian novels that came out ages ago. I'm gonna read it. I'll let y'all know what I think. Next is Memories of a Teenage Amnesiac. Pat Ford and Prongs loves this book. So, I mean, Raylene likes it. Let's see if I like it. Next is Leviathan. Living in the Ashes was talking about this and I love the cover and I'm about it. So let's see what this is about and look at that. There's like a map and ah, excitement books. Yes. Last is Shatter Me because it's everywhere in booktube like world right now. I don't know what this is even about. Dead things. That's all I'm reading. That's, that was a word. That was a thing. Let's do it. Let's read it. So these are all the books. There's so many. This is like a one take video because editing isn't happening. I need to do homework and then read all these books as y'all see because I'm crazy and get a bunch of books at the same time because I just get overwhelmed by the love of the books and everything and I'm so behind. Ah. But yeah. So tell me what you're reading. Have a happy Friday. Stay warm in the snow. It's crazy. I know. But yeah. But yeah.